Hey girl, it's Kristen Farrell, CEO of Imperfectly Brave. I'm hopping on here to give you an update, just kind of like everybody else is doing. Uh, I want to give you an update and I want to end with some hope. Don't we all just need a little bit more hope? Imperfectly Brave is built on the mission of equipping women to build a lifestyle of prayer and community right where you are. We do that through online resources, this, these pages, this platform, as well as two events that we host a year. Imperfectly Brave Weekend was launched last week. Uh, we opened ticket sales and announced May 1st and 2nd that we would gather together here in Kansas City, and we are so excited. We do have to say that that event is going to be postponed and rescheduled for some time this summer. We are working on the dates of that, and we will let you know as soon as we can. We cannot wait to gather, but we want to make sure that we are doing it in a safe manner. And so we will kind of wait and see what happens um, in the next few weeks. Uh, and we will announce those dates as soon as we have them. And we look forward to that. I want to say that a few years ago, God gave us the scripture of 2 Chronicles 7. And it says um, in 7, 14, it says, And my people who bear my name, humble themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Y'all, we are the people. We are the people who bear his name. And so I just want to say that um, this is a time to be in prayer. This is the time to be connecting with God, to seek his face um, and to, to be bearers of his name and to turn to him. And um, this mission is for such a time as this. And so we are excited to be able to use this platform to continue to equip you in your prayer life. So what you're gonna see from Imperfectly Brave over the next few months is you're gonna see some daily prayer prompts. You're gonna see some opportunities to join us live for prayer. You're gonna get more resources on praying and how to connect with God in prayer. We are gonna launch some things early that we are initially gonna launch at Imperfectly Brave weekend, but we are going to offer ways for you to get into community with other women and begin to pray together because we know that if we would seek his name and pray that he would heal our land because he says that in our word and that's what we're hoping for and that's what we're praying for and what an opportunity we have to use this gift of communication with God to have our land healed to have ourselves healed to have our homes healed to have our communities healed. And so we want to be a catalyst for that for you. And we're excited to be able to roll some things out maybe early, earlier than we had planned in a different manner than we had planned because it's gonna help you in your journey and in this process. So we're looking forward to giving you tools that will help you during the next eight weeks or more um, to connect more with God, to connect online, um, to develop community that maybe we wouldn't be able to develop otherwise. So as we put this video out, um, the date today is 316. And it reminded me that our theme verse for Imperfectly Brave this year, so loved is John 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever would believe in him would have eternal life. Um, so that's not different. That hasn't changed in the last week's time. It won't change over the next two months. You are so loved. God has not fallen off of his throne. None of this is a surprise to him. He is still in control and he is still loving us well through this process. We need to tap into him, you guys. And that's what we're going to do over the next few weeks. Myself, Whitney will probably recruit some other people to help us with it. Um, and so we look forward to that. So to get that information, subscribe and follow our pages and that stuff will be coming out. And we want you to be a part of it because we know when we gather together in prayer in community under the banner of Jesus, that there is movement among us. And we look forward to that. We'll be praying for you through this process. You guys can pray for us as we make decisions as a team on moving forward with Imperfectly Brave Weekend. We love you guys. Let us know if there's any way that we can help you in this time. Just send us an email, info at imperfectlybrave.com or shoot us a message on our social media pages. Let's be praying. Let us be a people of prayer. Bye, y'all.